Hello, Keto friends. We meet again. How are you today? I hope that you are doing great. Today, Miss Ninda has a story for you. The story is The Very Lonely Firefly. Okay, so are you ready to listen to a story? Yes? Okay, let's listen to the story, friends. The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carl. As the sun set, a little firefly was born. It stretched its wings and flew off into the darkening sky. It was a lonely firefly and it flashed its light searching for other fireflies. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a light bulb lighting up the night. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a candle flickering in the night. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a flashlight shining in the night. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it. But it was not another firefly. It was a lantern glowing in the night. The firefly saw several lights and flew toward them. But they were not other fireflies. There was a dog and a cat and an owl, their eyes reflecting the lights. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. It was a car's headlights flooding the night. The firefly saw many lights and flew toward them. But they were not other fireflies, they were fireworks, sparkling and glittering and shimmering in the night. When all was quiet, the firefly flew through the night, flashing its light, looking and searching again. Then, the very lonely firefly saw what it had been looking for. A group of fireflies flashing their lights. Now the firefly wasn't lonely anymore. Wow! Do you like the story, friends? What is the story about? In this story, what are the things that can make lights? Can you find something in your house that can make lights? Well, okay friends, thank you for listening to the story and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.